Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chump here and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Ultra Sun Nuzlocke. Today, this right here, this is going to be the finale of this series and I have to say right now that this, this episode, this fight that we are about to undertake and win is 100,000% for Magma and that is the name of the episode. Hashtag for Magma because we couldn't be here without Magma and all its ridiculous efforts to keep us alive and going. And so, we're going to win. While at one point I did say I don't even want to win anymore because Magma wasn't going to be part of the Nuzlocke, I have since regained my composure and decided that today we win. Today we fight like our lives depend on it. Well, they do. Because Magma brought us here, and we're going to finish what he started. That's all there is to it. So just to jump into it. As you guys know, our team is in perfect health. We didn't lose a single Pokemon yet. I say yet, because we never know what's going to happen. And then again, only five of them hit the field. Kibielo says you've been sitting there watching the entire fight, not being a part of it, because what the hell's weak to poison type, right? Um, but yeah, I guess that, that kind of sums it up. Let's, let's just jump into it. Again, like I said, hashtag for Magma. All of this is for Magma. 110%. Also, guys, before I continue up the stairs, um, with, this, with this series coming to a close, I'm going to be doing a new series starting very, very soon. Hopefully Monday? I'm hoping for Monday. And the idea is that it's going to be a live stream Let's Play. So if you guys are interested in that, if you guys want to be a, be a part of that, let me know what game I should play. I don't know yet, but help me decide. I'm thinking Gen 4. Four, maybe Gen 2, which I've done a, 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 a semi-recently. Um, probably not Gen 3. Gen 5 I did pretty recently. Gen 6 also. Gen 4, Gen 2, or Gen 1. Let me know what you want to see. That's kind of that's kind of where we're at right now. Anyway, let's keep going up the stairs. Um, I'll probably put a straw poll link in the description below as well, just because, you know, that'll help you guys actually kind of put your votes out there. Um, but feel free to comment down below if you want to see anything else. Maybe, like, a, uh, you know, the Coliseum game? XD Gale of Darkness? I don't know. Let me know what you think we should play. Anyway, you can see my throne right there. You see that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk towards it. And I'm going to sit in it. I actually have to sit in it to, to continue, don't I? Let me just double check my team. I'm scared, dude. I'm scared. Um, and I guess we'll leave with Amber because Amber, like, is the best case scenario in a way. I know that Sandstorm isn't the best case scenario, but, I mean, rocks is a good idea. And actually, I don't think I did the PP up thing that I said I was going to do between episodes. I completely forgot. Uh, Ether should be in here, right? Ooh. Ooh. Max Elixir. Okay. So I throw that down on this boy. All the moves. And this boy. And then we have one Max... I don't have any regular Ethers or Elixirs. What the hell? What kind of game is this? No one else really needs it, right? Yeah, no one else really needs it. I mean, maybe Amber, maybe? No. No. I can use one in battle. It's fine. It's fine. I have Roto PP restores. Let's do it. For Magma. For Magma. Oh, yeah. Now you're the Pokemon League champion. Wouldn't it be nice if it was that simple? The truth is, there's one more person you have to battle if you want that title. I wish you could actually lose this battle. And, um, what do you call it? And have Hal become the champion. That'd be cool. And, of course, the champion is me. Woo! Just kidding. The boy. See, this is the character that Hal deserved. But they had to take away Lilies to get this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's me. You know what? Something kind of hit me after I finally beat my old Gramps in an all-out serious battle. You're kind of my hero, chum. You and your team are, I mean. And because I really look up to you, I really want to have a serious battle against you. I really want to be able to win against you. Because it's my way... Because it's way more fun when Pokemon and their trainers are all friends and get along. And then they can do something really amazing. He's not wrong. And I gotta say... This music... Oh, I need a moment. Hang on, I need a moment. Let's do it. He looks up... He looks grumpy there. He looks serious. He looks mad. But whatever. I really do love that, you know, he beats his grandpa. We kind of see, you know, how strong he's become. But we don't really experience it until right now. Very, very cool stuff. 
This could be kind of a problem. But I do get the defense buff from my sandstorm, so I'm just gonna throw down with my thing out, and we're gonna we're gonna stick with it. We're gonna stick with our guns. Um, we'll sub the rocket up and see what see what's gonna happen. Oh, never mind. We might, we might die now. Look at that defense. Sky high. Sky damn high. Ridiculous. So now our solution is simple. Wait for the miss. Maxu portion. Because, I mean, Howl's not a god. He can't hit a focus blast every time, right? Apparently again. I can miss seven in a row. How many was it in that episode of, 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 of Battle Spot? I can't remember. It was some ridiculous number. Septile couldn't hit an attack to save his life. Um... Dude, I'll do this on repeat. I can one-shot you with my sandstorm. I know it. My sandstorm? My, my stone edge. But I'll probably rock slide because I don't want to be that full. Sight was changing up. That might do more damage, actually. Oh, wow. Well, I can't risk it anyway. Of course it doesn't do more damage. What the hell is math, dude? Oh, my God. Um, I, need, I need him to miss. I need him to miss the focus blast. But, dude, my defenses are pretty incredible. The sad part is now, though, my sandstorm's not going to outlast his focus blast, so he has to miss it. I can't just out outweigh it. That's the fourth turn. Sandstorm ends his turn, so he has to miss now or never. Uh, actually, wait. He had to miss then. He had to miss then. Okay. I'm in a bit of a pickle because no one can switch into a focus boss. I mean, Solgaleo kind of can. Want to try it? I mean, Gyarados can, but we get nowhere. Um, Neganado can, but we get nowhere. Um, Scrafty shouldn't. Probably can. Weavile definitely can't. I don't know what to do, man. I don't want to let Amber die for nothing. But yeah, Sandstorm's gonna run out. I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my money. Oh, but what if it goes for Psychic? Because I did that one time, and if I go into the Ganondorf and it goes for Psychic, I die. So I have to do this. I have to do this. Uh... Miss the Focus Blast for once in your life, dude. Maybe it was the only bet. I don't. I don't want to take this. I don't want to take this attack, but I have to. I can't risk getting hit by a psychic. You know what I mean? There we go. Finally misses. Go for the crunch for obvious reasons. Thunderbolt's fine. It's not resisted or anything. But I mean, what can I do apart from take an attack? Because I have to. Because he couldn't miss the first four focus blasts. Uh, now Soul Gallery has damage that he doesn't need done. We have Flareon coming out, which is obviously inconvenient for us, but we can bring out our Terra Wave and do some fun stuff. I don't think Flareon's gonna have a move for us if we, you know, just kind of float. So I guess we might as well just try and heal up Solgalia. We intimidate it too, so that's good. That's really good for us. Really, really good for us. Um, I want Solgalia to have HP so we can switch into him at any point, anytime we want. Man, has so much HP though. Flare Blitz. There's very little damage. Um, let's get our other guy up to full as well. High Potion should do the trick. It does not, but it's close enough. It's close enough. And then again, why why settle for close enough? Oh, wow, Charm. Okay, good, good play. I was going to say, why settle for close enough when we have so many more Max Potions than we need? But you never know. We say more than we need, but it, I could be very wrong. Minus four. What? Why? I missed. Are you could be kidding me, man. Let's go to Amber. That's ridiculous. I missed. Good lord. Actually, I could have gone to Amber from the get-go. Actually, whatever. You get that sandstream up. 
Here comes another flare blitz. Alright. Should do absolutely what the? Okay, crit hit. Still did a lot of damage. Like, even, even, you know, with the, if it wasn't a crit, that's a ridiculous amount. Oh, I, but I guess it was Intimidate when it hit, um, when it hit, uh, Gyarados. But it, obviously the crit negated the Intimidate. I'm taking some stuff. That's more like it. I basically didn't even need to attack the thing. It just kind of died on its own. <laughs> like, you see how much health it lost just by being on the field? Good lord. Alright. Now what are we going to see next? Taurus. I don't, I, I don't know what this thing can learn. That has me worried. Let's just blow it back. Oh, no, we could have a ground type move there. I'm scared. Well, let's do it, because if Naganadol gets this KO, Naganadol might just win the game. So let's do this. Let's put our faith in the Ganadel, shall we? I'm all in for this. Let's do it. Z move to destroy the Tauros, then get beast boosted. It outspeeds me, never mind, I'm dead. Sandstorm, please subside. I'm begging you, Sandstorm. Please subside. Do you guys know what turn it is? I don't know. But that was a genuine 1 HP survival. I I thought I was just being really, really cautious and really, really foolish to, to go that one extra level with the rare candy. But I was no way in the wrong. Sandstorm, please subside. Sandstorm, please subside. That was the last turn of Sandstorm, I can guarantee it. I got How fast is Tauros? Seriously. Google. How fast is Tauros? Too fast. That's the only answer. That's the only answer. I didn't care about Taurus, the, the bloody horoscope. I want to know about Tauros, the Pokemon. Alright? God. One ten. The Gyarados faster than that, right? Right, guys. I'm on the wrong Pokedex, lol. It doesn't matter. Let's keep playing the game. I don't even know what's coming out, so we're just gonna go into Sol Galio. I'm scared. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. I can't believe it actually. It's still one ten in this gen. Oh, Noivin. Hello. Welcome to welcome to the party. Welcome to Deathland. I can't believe that. One one battle. I mean, Purple had more battles. I, I hate that it's dead though. Purple had so many battles, man. Can we just be- 121 base speed! Hello? What? I'm tilted. How did that thing outspeed me? Did I have a- did I have a speed deficit nature? I might have. Okay, let's see. Never mind. Sandstorm had been up for a very short amount of time. Sandstorm just killed my own Pokemon. Data Kapulse? Uh, it's so annoying. Because had had um <laughs> I can't get my words out. What? Oh, that that's the last hit of sandstorm. We can do this though. Nah, we might as well just heal up. Uh... We'll attack. Dark Pulse won't kill us. We'll attack. With uh, Crunch. It'll guarantee hit. I forgot that he would do that. I actually forgot that he would do that. I can't believe a Taurus of all things killed my Naganadel. Why is it so strong? I mean, it tried so hard to live on that little HP. And then Taurus was like... Sorry, then, then Sandstorm was like, Soz, boss. Soz. Let's heal up. So sad. I'm so sad. The game was too frail, man. Why did I do that? That actually did nothing for me. Why did I heal up? Actually, did nothing for me. Sun still strike. Let's go. If this dark boss crits, I'm gonna be tilted. 
because I it would have been the previous Dark Pulse would hit me last turn and then I would have killed it. But I healed up for nothing. I literally healed up and I did the exact same amount of damage back to me. Oh man, I'm so tilted that Ganondorf dead. I mean, that was one. Oh, stealth rock damage. Why? Marble coming out. I need you. I need your speed. And don't heal this thing again, please. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Annoying. Annoying child. Can this thing one-shot me? Probably. We're going to go for an ice shard and see how much damage we can do. I mean, it's going to be mad super effective. But I don't know if it will kill. It did its best. Dragon Pulse? Can we live it? I mean, Noibin's all about speed, not about power. So, yeah, I figured we'd live it. Ice a shard. But yeah, as I was saying, hadn't the Ganondorf lived that, we would have had the speed. Actually, no, if I didn't have speed with the Taurus, I probably wouldn't have had to the Noi Burn. Why was that so slow? I probably had a speed deficit in nature, didn't I? I probably had a speed deficit in nature. And if the Taurus had a speed boost in nature, his uh, base speed would have been effective at the same as mine. Abominable. And. It's fighting ice, right? I was gonna be like Jenny, but then it's also fighting while I'm fighting, so I'm, while I'm dark, so it's a little bit scary. I had a mini heart attack when the beeping started, because I was imagining a world where we, we had spikes or stones on my side of the field. Let's get the full max portion. Let's see what this silly crab wants to do to me. I can't believe that. I can't ice hammer. Not a bad attempt, not a bad you tried, you tried, I'm proud of you for that. But I'm gonna send a headbutt you. Apparently not. Now I'm gonna send a headbutt you. Oh, I can sun still track you, whatever, let's do that. And I guess we stay in for the Prime Arena as well. No. I want someone on the squad to take out Prime Arena. You know who could have done that? Naganadel. Actually Yeah, yeah, Naganadel wouldn't have had a you know move that we're weak to. Weak to, weak, weak to, weak to fairy, weak to, weak to water, weak to fairy, dead, and has no move. Okay, I guess, I guess, guess Nebula's gonna finish the game. Oh man. I guess Nebula's gonna finish the game. Alright. For Magma. For Magma. The hero. We did not deserve a hero amongst Pokemon. That would have been a lot more dramatic had I... Oh my god, I'm going to die. I thought you'd use your Z-move. He's not even using his unique Z-move. What a loser. But I thought the Sun Strike was going to kill, so I, um, I started my speech beforehand. Please live. Wow. Can I even win now? Poison jab. Poison jab. I can't believe that. That's ridiculous. Alright, go poison jab. Win the game. Full magma! Full magma! <sighs> There we go. This this Pokemon right here never even met Magma, but even Marble knows. Format. Can can we can we pause for a second? Can we pause for a second to address the fact that the two legendary slash Ultra Beast Pokemon in my party are the only ones who died? Like. I mean, I gotta say, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy I chose to use that one rare candy on the game though, because I was like, hmm, 58 might not be enough. I'll go one more level. Seeb's grinding. Rare candied it. Actually saved its life for a good, like, one minute before the sandstorm was like, <laughs> no. But still, we did it. We did it. Hashtag for magma. And let's just read the dialogue and, and get out of here, shall we? We're going to keep moving forward by staying at full power all the time. 
I like that catchphrase. It's good, it's good stuff. It's good stuff, Hal. It's good stuff. I respect it. I really respect it. We managed to pull out something pretty amazing. When my partners and I are, were all in sync and waiting and wanting the same thing. But it looks like we're still one step away from being the strongest trainer and team. But you know what's funny? Even though we lost, that was more exciting than any other battle I've ever had until now. Everything's all mixed up inside me. It was so fun and so frustrating and just, yep, it was just really awesome. That's, that sums up the Nuzlocke so well, dude. It was so fun and so frustrating. It was awesome. It sums up the Nuzlocke so well. Amazing. You and How are both amazing, chum. It's like I told you before, the strongest moves you can use are the ones a trainer and their Pokemon choose together in the heat of battle, in the heat of the moment. When it really counts. Can I just say I want to I wanna shout out to Naganadel for using his E-move and killing something. Um, and shout out to to my unnecessary use of my Sandstorm Pokemon. Because wow, I could have just stayed in with Gyarados. And you just proved me right. Congrats, cousin. You're a champion. We can all be proud of. I told you, didn't I? Up here on Mount Hokulani. Man, the Pokemon and the trainers in Alola really are the best. I want everyone in the world to know that too. That's always been my dream. Right here, right now, it finally came true. And it's all thanks to you, Chum, and your Gigalith. I was going to have a heart attack if you said a dead Pokemon's name. But Gigalith is still alive, and I almost forgot that. Oh, man. It's been five long months, and we finally made it. You know, my goal for the for, for next Pokemon game is to actually beat it before, like, everyone stops playing. Anyway, I'm so happy I got to see that flaming hot battle right here, right where my dreams came true. And now, Chum, first ever champion of the Alola Pokemon League, it's time we record you and your beloved team's achievement for eternity. You know what I should have done? I should have gone into the league with five Pokemon, right? And then brought Magma's corpse with us. Just so Magma could be here, because Magma deserves it. And I hate that Magma isn't here. They really did good, I can't, I can't believe I just killed you. Revile? Uh, thank you for t thank you for learning poison jab, Gyarados. I mean, intimidate saved your life, and you're amazing. The Ganadel, you tried your best. You were cute as a poi pole, and I will still love you. Scrafty, thank you for holding up the fort where Magma fell. <sighs> I just, oh man, it was great. It, it, again, it's so frustrating and so fun, but it was just awesome. And that's all there is to it, man. That's all there is to it. I'm, I'm disappointed. Like, so Galio's death is like, okay, I made a mistake, but Naganadel's one, it was one of those, oh, it could be like the best clutch survival ever, but just at the Sandstorm, man. It was genuine 1 HP too. No sturdy, no no focus ash, genuine 1 HP. And the, the screen was covered. It, it kind of reminds me of the flashbacks to uh, to my Mudsdale's death in my previous Sun Nuzlocke, man. Spooked. So spooked. Anyway, guys. That's it. We did it. It's been a long time. I had to take a quick second there to check that we were still recording. Because if we weren't recording, oh, I would have been tilted. Luckily, I do save before each video, so it would have been fine. Actually, did I even save since I got in the Pokemon League? I don't think I did. Oh, no, I did. I did after the 50, 50th episode. Yeah, I did do that. You really do love your Pokemon with all your heart, don't you, Chump? I do. Yep, that's precisely why he and his Pokemon were able to combine that strength to emerge victorious. Now we're all going to be aiming for your seat. I really hope you're ready for some rivals. Yo, can we shout out to the fact that the that the Generation 7 Elite 4 has three ladies on it? Like, girl power. Hashtag girl power. But mostly hashtag for Magma. Come on, chum. Let's go celebrate you becoming Alola's first ever champion together with everybody. Mama Graham said we'd have an awesome party no matter which one of us won. Makes sense. It'd be kind of rude if he didn't throw a party for me. He was like, oh, I've got this whole party set up for my son, my grandson. But, you know, screw you. You're not my grandson. Alright, chum, let's bust a U turn for Melee Mail Out. If any of my Pokemon that were dead knew U turn, I'd be a sad, sad panda. We're gonna have a big festival in Iki Town. Don't worry, I'll be sure to let Lily know too. Yo, if Lily didn't come to my party, I'd be so sad. I'd be so sad. Speaking of sad, this game doesn't actually end off sad. Do I have to fight Tapu Koko? Because I'm not ready for that mentally or physically. I'm quite physically capable, actually. Oh, but guys, I'm just going to put this DS down real quick because this thing plays on without me interrupting, right? Yeah, it does. Cool. So we need to talk about this because this has been an absolutely wild ride. And I have to say, it's, it's, this, this series has ups and downs. 
both in terms of the content in in like obviously what happens with you know the the nuzlocke and the pokemon and the the, the deaths and the amazing catches and the clutch moments it's been it's been kind of wild but also in terms of just uploads like this this series has kind of been on and off a little bit not as on and off as sun nuzlocke was back in the day but uh, there's just been times where it's been inconsistently uploading and but you guys have stuck with it and i want to thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey because it was a lot of fun i do love this game um but i do still feel like it's been such a long time like it doesn't feel like it's the new game anymore which is pretty sad because it is the newest game but i guess everyone's kind of just hyped for the switch and we kind of forget that you know sun and moon ultra sun and moon is the newest uh game so it, it, it's been a lot of fun and i hope you guys are looking forward to the next journey because it's going to be a fun one just kidding i have to do some talking here he is the first pokemon league champion from alola this calls for celebrations let's all get to it is it the end no it's not i think there's more there they're like oh sure it's your pokemon I'm just gonna leave it. But yeah, it's been a, it's been a lot of fun. I absolutely love this game, and I'm looking forward to doing more content. Like I said, guys, if you aren't, aren't aware, I'm planning on doing my next let's play as a live stream sort of format. So instead of doing you know you know five half hour videos in the week, we're gonna be doing one big three hour live stream at the beginning of the week, and then um, in the slots, I guess in the videos time slots that opens up, we're gonna be bringing back um, more Pokemon. Uh, Battle Sport Blast as well as Pokemon Tournament in like full four. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Look forward to that sort of stuff happening next week. And of course, this week, uh, we're going to have a bunch of live streams. I haven't really officially announced that, but by now you'll probably have seen it because I'm going to message in Discord when I finish recording about different live stream shenanigans as well as what game you want to see me play. And like I said, I'm thinking Gen 4. Gen 4 is probably the best. I mean, it's my favorite generation, but I've never done a full playthrough of it on the channel. I've started it like a few times, but I've never done a full playthrough. So I'm looking forward to doing that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, I think Platinum's where it's at. I think Platinum's where we're going to be. I'm just a bit wary because if we get, if we do get like a, a Gen 4 remake, it's going to be weird that I just play Gen 4 and then the Gen 4 remake comes out. So I don't know. But I mean, maybe we will do it. We, why not, right? Why not? It'll be cool to experience Gen 4 and then experience Gen 4 um, remake form back to back though. So I wouldn't mind. I would not mind. But yeah, like I said, man, it's been a wild ride. And again, like... Real talk, we couldn't be here without Magma. How many times did Magma solely win the day? And I know I'm in a way discrediting every other Pokemon we had at the early point of the before we got Magma. Like I had a Sujuai, our starter, and a bunch of other Pokemon we had, but it's just that Goose in battle could have ended everything. Everything could have ended there. But Magma held on and we lived and it was just It was a wild ride, man. And I had so much fun. And the thing is, it's funny to think that. The next Nuzlocke is going to be even more wild. Because I can I can promise you we're doing randomizers. And randomizers, when you walk into a, a patch of grass and have no idea what you're going to get out of all 800 Pokemon, it's a lot of fun. I say that, but there's no randomizer with all 800 Pokemon in it. Um, unless, there is, unless you can randomize Sun and Moon, you might be able to do that. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But still, it's going to be a blast. Look forward to that next series. It should be coming very, very soon. If it's not going to start off next week, it might start off the week after. It just depends on how long it takes me to get that sort of stuff sorted in terms of getting all of the different um, artwork for the series as well as figuring out certain things because I don't actually know how I'm going to be doing the layout with all the Pokemon while we're doing it live because obviously I can usually do it in post. Right now I'm recording it, it's not even on my screen and I added it in post but in terms of being like, oh I caught a new Pokemon, let me just like, you know, click this box here to make it go away on the layout. So I'm, I'm not sure what we're going to do but it's going to be fun or maybe I can just kind of have, I don't know. I have no idea what I can do. But what I can tell you is that it's, it's just going to be fun. I had a lot of fun. So just to kind of wrap things up, I want to thank you guys for all your amazing, incredible support of this series. It's probably the most supported and most commented on and the most just kind of engaged with Nuzlocke I've had, um, period, which is just awesome. And I'm glad that, I mean, it's mostly because we're growing and I'm, I'm glad that we're growing as a channel. Look at Luzamine. Alive and well, saying goodbye to Gladian in a way. Very, very cool little stuff happening in this end cutscene. But yeah, oh, it's just going to be really good. And of course, um, I believe by the time you guys see the video, Duel Links will have started to come back. I don't know if it's come back in full swing yet. I don't know. I haven't started. In fact, in half an hour, the new update should be live, and I'll probably be making a few videos on that. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to what's going to happen in the future. This past month, in terms of like growth and everything, has really, really dropped off. Mostly because of New Japan and haven't been in the best, like, um, recording habits since I came back but next week things are going to pick up again and it's going to be absolutely wonderful just you wait it's going to be great anyway I think I'll let the cutscene play out and see what happens uh, after that and if nothing else and then I'll, I'll pop back up at the end and say goodbye to you guys
<laughs> all right so i'm back because there's more text to read through but i want to say first of all i think it's absolutely adorable the way that lily bowed like towards tapu koko's shrine as a thank you for saving not just nebby but even saving us so yeah shout out to that that was really cute look at this everyone's so fired up Woo! we've got the birth of lola's strongest ever trained to celebrate after all i was born several years ago but thank you i may have lost but i'm gonna keep working hard to be in total sync with my partners and pull out my Pokemon's full power. And then, I'm coming for you, Champion Chum. I love that. Champion Chum. The, one of the many chocolate champions out there. Chum. Sorry, I mean champion. I'm sure everybody here wants to see your partners too. Come on, show us those partners that were there for so many of your discoveries, new experience, and adventures on your island challenge. That makes me sad because so many Pokemon who were there for all the adventures are dead. Ugh, their Nuzlocke's take a toll on your heart, man. <laughs> You're positively glowing, am I? Probably because of the giant light above me. It actually really hurts to look at it, not gonna lie to you. My eyes get a little bit sore looking at that after looking at my screen. Which is kind of, kind of goes through how bright that light is. Love the generic applause when, you, when your Pokemon come out. Alright, I guess we're getting to the, it's like the full credits or is it the end thing here? All right, the full credit. So, I'm going to let this play out just because I like to pay respects to those who made the game. And I guess that's just going to be it. It's just going to be the end of the series. So, I want to thank you guys once again for watching and being a part of this amazing series. It's been a lot of fun. It's been going on a lot longer than anyone else's and I was like, I can almost guarantee you that this is the longest uh, Ultra Sun Nozick in terms of from the days between first episode and last episode. But it's been a lot of fun, and I really, really love it. I want to thank you guys for watching once again, and for every single video, whether it's this one, the previous one, the one before that, just all of them. Obviously, if, it, if I'm not thanking you for this one, then you're not watching it. I don't even know what's going on. I'm, can, I'm confused at what I'm saying, but just overall, thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, um, let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part of the series. That'd be really cool to know. And of course, let me know in the comment section below what game I should play for our next other three. Yes, can you not fall off my lap, please? Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. So just overall, I want to thank you all for watching. If you guys want to see more content like this in the future, there'll be more Let's Plays coming very, very soon. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, but you probably have it. You're still sitting here listening to me talk about this. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So I want to thank you guys for watching once again. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.